Amen. We give God the praise, give God the glory, give God the honor for another blessed Sunday morning. They allow our eyes to come open and see a brand new day. God get the praise, God get the glory, and God get the honor. We honor him on this blessed morning. Welcome you to the Mount Carey Missionary Baptist Church, located at 3835 Whitewater Road, right here in the city of Valdosta, Lord Georgia. Amen. God is doing great and awesome things, and he's truly worthy to be praised. Let us go to the Lord in prayer on this morning. Our Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you. God, we just give you praise, and God, we just give you glory. We give you honor on this blessed day. Thank you for another day's journey. Thank you how you keep on blessing us over and over and over again, opening up doors for us and making a way out of no way. God, we just give you praise, and we thank you for all the many blessings you have bestowed upon us, O oh, Father God. And Lord, we just lift your name up. We just magnify your name, God. We just thank you, Father, for being able to come to your house of worship once again to lift you up, O oh God. We thank you for these that are here and these that are listening, these that are seeing this broadcast telecast on this day, God. We pray now, Lord, that your power and your anointing will fall afresh on them right now, Father God. Heal, set free, and deliver right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Do it, Lord. We'll give you the praise and we'll give you the glory and we'll give you the honor. Just have your way in this service, O oh God. Move in the mighty way. Let your glory come in and bless our hearts, souls, mind, and spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah. In these last days, there's a man you're going to need to know. You're going to have to answer to him, for the Bible tells me so. When this race is run and it's all said and done, on that day you gotta meet that man. But I pray you know his son. I'm glad I know him. I'm glad I know him. Oh yes. Oh yes, I know him. Know him. I know him. I know him. Do you know him? What about you? Do you know him? What about you? 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 What about you?
What about you? Do you know him? What about you? Do you know him? What about you? I know. What about you? He's a living God. What about you? I know. What about you? He's a saving God. What about you? Do you know him? What about you? Do you know him? What about you? Do you know him? What, what about you? you i'm glad i know him amen what about you glad to know the lord amen know him as our lord and our redeemer and our savior amen we say happy birthday to all those are celebrating in this month of december happy birthday to you you and especially you there'll be uh, no wednesday night word on this coming wednesday december the 23rd or december the 30th there'll be no wednesday night word on this wednesday december the 23rd or uh, December the 30th. Enjoy a safe and blessed Christmas with your family. Amen. Remember, we have conference call each and every Sunday at 9.20 a.m. Dial the number 701-802-5337. Access code 683-1205 and the pound symbol. Join us on each and every Sunday at 10.15 a.m. for our morning worship experience online live stream. The link to join Calvary is www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash live. You may give your tithes and offering by downloading the application, give the file to your phone or the link www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash giving. You can also drop off your tithes and offering to our designated deacons in the front parking area for, on today from 10 a.m to 11 a.m. From 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., you can drop off your tithes and offering. Amen. Don't forget, this is uh, early voting here in Georgia for two Senate seats. Amen. For two Senate seats, so please go in early vote. The time is now to make sure you get your vote in. Amen. You can even vote on the weekend. Amen. Early voting is being uh, going on even now. want to say amen. Uh, thank you, Carl, to the Mount Carey Baptist Church from the uh, family to Pastor Vincent, Lady Vincent, to the Deacons Ministry and the Mount Carey Adult Praise Team and the Mount Carey Church family. Thank you very much. Amen. It's a perfect time to thank you for the nice things that you do and a perfect time to let you know your thought, the world, too. 
love the family of the late Mother Margaret Hart. Amen. A thank you card. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Thanks for your support for the uh, funeral service and celebration of life for Mother Louise Wallace family. That's uh, Sister Rita Brown, our very own member, Sister Rita Brown, grandmother's funeral on yesterday. Please keep in your thoughts and prayers. The family and the loss of their loved one, the late Yvette Denise Abbott, very well. She is the sister of our very own member, Brother Jason Abbott. Celebration of Life, Great Side Service will be on today, Sunday, December the 20th at 3 o'clock p.m. at Paul Berry Cemetery, amen, on the Riverside Road. Heritage Funeral Home is handling final arrangements, amen. Even though we're not having services on this coming Wednesday or the next Wednesday, but on Thursday, December the 31st, December the 31st, Thursday, December the 31st, at 10.30 p.m., we have our online live stream, amen, watch night service. Join us. Amen. For our online live stream, watch night, hallelujah, ghost, hallelujah, Holy Ghost party, amen, service, amen, December the 31st at 1030 p.m. Please continue to pray for one another. Special prayer request for our very own Sister Curly Bradley, Brother Sister De Sister Deaconess, uh, Brother Niels, amen, Sister Alice Benjamin, Brother Andy Hart, Brother Reginald Black, Brother Gary Cooper, Ella Sister Ella Jones, and Sylvia uh, Dennis. Praying for all those that are being challenged or suffering through the Corona-19 virus pandemic personally, physically, directly, or indirectly. Uh, don't forget the COVID-19 drive through testing is being conducted by the Lowndes County Health Department. You can call the number 229-333-5257. You'll be given an appointment time and a PUI number when you call in. You can also register online at Amen. COVID one nine dot dph dot g a dot g o v. That's COVID the number one nine dot dph dot g a dot g o v. The client will need to amen complete the information online, and you'll be able to get a PUI number as well as an appointment time. You will need an email address to receive the results or information, or a smartphone. We wanted to let you know this is an option, alternative, instead of calling in or holding on the phone to get scheduled. The test only takes less than five minutes, and they're being conducted at the Lowndes County Health Department, located 206 South Patterson Street, right here in the city of Valdosta, Georgia. That's 206 South Patterson Street, right here in the city of Valdosta, Georgia. Amen. I'm, we're going to do a special presentation, and after that, amen, Deaconess uh, Lily Roberts is going to come and do a Christmas reading to us on this morning. We want to do a recognize uh, one of our very own youth here at Calvary for the Kicks for Cats, a nonprofit organization funded by Braden Anderson and Jay Ball. The, the goal of the Kicks for Cats is to raise funds to purchase new shoes for children and the need to that attend the Valdosta City Schools. Braden and Jay Ball both enjoy being active and involved in athletics at Valdosta High School. They want to give other kids the ability to run, exercise, and play and having quality shoes can help them to do that. The boys have set up a GoFundMe account to collect donations. All money received will be used to purchase a nice pair of tennis shoes for the kids in need that are identified by the school counselors and the school social workers. So this is for uh, recognizing uh, Braden Anderson and Brother J. Ball. And as we get ready to see that video, we want to certainly amen, thank God that uh, Lowndes High School went to the semifinals and Valdosta City Schools went to the semifinals. Amen, but they didn't make it. But uh, Brooks County, I understand, amen, is going to the state championship. Amen. So we congratulate all of our young people in their endeavors. Amen. This time, let us watch this special, amen, video, amen, honoring one of our very own members here, uh, Brother J. Ball. Amen. The two on your screen launching their very own nonprofit. As Amber Spradley reports, they say every penny raised is going to go to Valdosta City Schools to buy shoes for a student in need. What can we do besides go fund? We can really put a different box at a different location. These two freshman Wildcats are kicking around ideas for their new nonprofit organization, Kicks for Cats. With COVID 19 going around, there weren't many organizations that were open for people our age so we figured the best way to give back how we wanted to was to start our own 
organization. The young classmates, now business partners, Braden Anderson and Johnny Ball. They've been close friends since the first grade. And with their mutual love for shoes, they're raising money to purchase new kicks for their peers in need. Shoes give kids the ability to run and move and increase physical activity. Better yet, Shoes give a sense of pride and joy. The two, moved by shoes, are spearheading the charity with support from two proud mothers, Terry Ball and Nicole Anderson. They've been the best of friends, and this idea just sort of came together with the two of them. I've always been very proud of him, but this sort of pushes it up a level. I love that they both support each other so much, and they'll go watch each other in different sporting events or different competitions. And they've just, they've just got a really unique and sweet friendship. And is it what you thought it would be? It's probably better than I thought it would be, actually. Their initial goal, to raise $1,000 and provide shoes for at least 30 Valdosta City School students. Within the first month, they've raised nearly that by launching a GoFundMe page and setting up donation boxes around town. We're almost to our goal. And that's going to make a real big difference in the lives of the children. With every dollar coming in, a sense of hope for the two that no Wildcat will have to go without. In Valdosta, Amber Spradley, WCTV Eyewitness News. And to learn more about how you can help, log on to our website later this evening, WCTV.TV. You'll be able to find out how, again, to help these teens keep on kicking. Not that they care, but I couldn't be more prouder of them, oh. too. I mean, that friendship has developed into something that's going to help a lot of their classmates. That's really, really awesome. That's a blessing, and it's a blessing that we do to help others. Our special poem this morning presented to all, and it says, Towards the month before Christmas and all through the town, people wore masks that covered their frown. The frown had begun way back in the spring when a global pandemic changed everything. They called it corona, but unlike the beer, it didn't bring good times. It didn't bring cheer. Contagious and deadly, this virus spread fast, like a wildfire that starts when fueled by gas. Airplanes were grounded. Travel was banded. Borders were closed across air, sea, and land. As the world entered lockdown to flatten the curve, the economy halted, and folks lost their nerve. From March to July, we rode the first wave. People stayed home. They tried to behave. When summer emerged, the lockdown was lifted. But away from caution, many folks drifted. Now it's November and cases are spiking. Wave two has arrived, much to our disliking. Frontline workers, doctors and nurses, try to save people from riding in hearses. It's true that this year has had sadness aplenty. We'll never forget the year 2020. And just round the corner, the holiday season, but why be merry, is there even one reason? To decorate the houses and put up the tree when no one will see it, no one but me. But outside my window, the snow gently falls, and I think to myself, let's deck the halls. So I gather the ribbon, the garland and bows, and I play those old carols, my happiness grows. Christmas is not canceled, and neither is hope. If we lean on each other, I know we can cope.
of you in the truth. Say it again. We worship you in the spirit. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Say we worship you. We worship you in the spirit. Whoa. We worship you in the truth. We worship you. We Lord. worship you in the spirit. That's what we. That's do. what we're gonna do. Say we worship you. Yeah. We worship you in the spirit. Come on and say. We worship you in the truth. Lord, we. Lord, we. we we worship you in the spirit. That's what we're. That's what we're gonna do. Into the holies oh. of holy. Into the holies of holy. That's where I wanna be. That's where. Amen. We worship you in the spirit. We worship you, O oh our God, and we give you praise, and we give you glory, and we give you the honor. Amen. We honor God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit, to our ministerial staff here at Mount Calvary, 
to their spouse, to my lovely spouse this morning, Lady Evelyn Diane Vincent, to our deacons, deaconess, mothers, saints, and friends, to all of God's people in your respect place. We honor you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our scripture on this morning out of St. Luke's Gospel, the second chapter and verse number 12. St. Luke, the second chapter and verse number 12. And it simply says, And this shall be a sign unto you, that ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. And God, we just give you glory on this day. We thank you, Father, as we celebrate this Christmas season, that, Father, we'll make room for Jesus in our heart, in our mind, and in our spirits, and in our lives. We pray, Lord, that you will give us a word that's very all your people stand in the need of. Pray that our coming would not be in vain. Thank you for the opportunity to come and worship your name, O oh Father God. Thank you for the mind to worship. Thank you for the place to worship. Thank you for the place called Mount Calvary on this morning. And God, we pray you give us a word that, that your word would go out today, O oh God, and heal, set free, and deliver, Father God. Give us preaching and teaching power, Father, and keep us near the cross in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, that you would get all the praise and that you would get all the glory and that you would get all the honor. We bless you in the name of Jesus that I might decrease and increase in your power and your anointing. Keep me near the cross. In Christ Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Heaven keep you is our prayer. Amen. God, word for God, people out of St. Luke's Gospel, the second chapter and verse number 12. I want to talk with you just for a few moments on this blessed Sunday morning from the message. Amen. The subject, the message in the manger. The message in the manger. Amen. The message in the manger. Amen. Have you ever wondered, my brothers and sisters, on this morning why God has his son born in a stable with the manger as a bed? Yeah. When we, when we, when the couple expects a child, they usually begin preparing the room which, which the child will live in. If possible, they paint the wall, they secure the furniture, amen, the toys, and buy baby clothes. Included in the purchase is usually a baby bed. Nothing but the best is good enough for the new arrival of their child. That's why it's confusing to some why God went, amen, to the trouble of sending Christ to earth through 42 generations via handpicked surrogate mother into a godly family and then have the child born in a stable and laid in a manger. Since God does not make mistakes, we must conclude the place of Christ's birth in the manger which he which was and has laid is powerful and has a powerful meaning. Yeah, there's a message in the manger. It was a message that the Son of God would be accessible to every person, even the poorest. The stable birth in the manger bed was a message of hope to the lost, lonely, and to the discouraged. Since Christ was the fulfillment of God's promise, it was the message to the world that God had not forgotten, amen, or forsaken his promise to visit his people and bring resolution to the society Amen. Eels that plague the world. The manger was a message in Bethlehem. And there's still a message even today to the world faced with hunger, devastation, war, and pestilence. It is a message that God has not turned a deaf ear to our problems, but instead he has sent us a sign. The birth of Christ in the manger where signs of God's son would bring a new meaning to the living and new joy to the disheartened. The birth, the birth of Christ. Child was an answer to the prayers of Israel for 490 years. It was a sign of great promise that God has in store for those who remain faithful to him until the end. My brothers and sisters, the message in the manger was an unspoken signal to believers depressed by the doom and gloom of their times that they should find hope in the lowly birth of the Christ. 
child. It's also meant that they should be encouraged because God's son left the glories of heaven to dwell with humanity to show us the way to achieve peace on earth and goodwill toward all men. As Christians, we see the virgin birth. We see the stable in the manger as a positive message from God. Christ's life, including his death and his resurrection, are the confirmation that the promise of God remain in his truth to us. That is the message in the manger. The text shows us how God gave the world hope using a symbol that could not be ignored. Mary and Joseph had been told of the birth of Christ by an angel. Biblical scholars, amen, had been searching scriptures for signs that might indicate a place and a time when God's promise of a deliverer of a Savior would come. They knew the deliverer would be born into the tribe of Judah. They also knew he would be born in Bethlehem. They knew what he could be called, but they were so close, but so far away. Religious leaders searched anxiously for a sign because it had been over 400 years since they received a new message from God about the coming Shiloh. The birth of Christ brought the first message of the New Testament. The message was in a manger. The gift of Christ, child, was a message from God that he still loved the world enough to allow part of himself. Hey, oh yeah, that God still loved the world enough to allow part of himself to assume human form and to absorb the punishment for their sin. But John declared in John 3.16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm so glad that John 3.16 came to pass. That birth was a sign to the world that God's saving grace would be available to everyone. The message that God gave the world on Christmas day was clear indicator of his intention to be with his people in their triumphs, their joys, and their setbacks. The message in the manger was a savior that sought for many years that had finally come. The manger message focused this morning. The scripture searched for one single child because Bethlehem was to feel the descendants of David. And there would probably be many newborns. The manger in the swaddling clothes distinguished Christ from the rest. The message wasn't on paper, but the message of hope was wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. Yeah, my brothers and sisters, this morning the message, amen, in the manger. The manger was a simply through to feed animals. Still, when the believers consider that the Son of God was laid in the manger, we collectively understand that the manger held seven messages, including, number one, I want to let you know that one of the messages that was in the manger, Shiloh was in the manger. Well, for 490 years, the people had not heard a new message from God. As we said earlier, they waited for Shiloh, which is meant message from God. Shiloh, which is meant message from God. Without prophets, without pronouncements, encouragement of condemnation, the people were spiritually cut off from God. When the Christ child was born, the silence was broken. Jesus was the, both the message and the messenger. John said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. When the word became flesh, the messenger became a man, the message, the message in the manger that once God renewed communication with his people. Yeah, the message Shiloh was in the manger, the message where God communicated with his people again after 400 years. That was refreshing because there's something on the inside of true believers that pushes us to hear and want to hear a word from God. Anybody want to hear a word from the Lord? Today's message, today the message in the manger is the same. God has established Christ as a mediator between God and man, giving us the message. Through prayer, believers can now communicate directly to God without a priest with Jesus as our mediator. Individual prayers acts in Jesus name could be given to God and answer will follow. 
that's important because families make decisions about marriages and careers and children and business opportunities and uh, morality and many other particulars in life. Every day, we must seek direction from God. So Shiloh was in the manger. The message for us, amen, was in the manger. And in the manger was the message that God is only a prayer away. Any doubts, the resolution is only a prayer away. Any frustration, the comfort sought is only a prayer away. Any loss, new direction is only a prayer away. Believers then and now found that message, shallow message from God in the manger. Yeah, the message in the manger lets us know point one was shallow was in the manger. Number two, hope was in the manger. Can I say it again? Hope was in the manger. It seemed that the baby in the manger was an ordinary baby born under less than ordinary circumstances. However, the fact is that Mary gave birth in a stable, laid Jesus in a manger. It's significant because it fulfilled the scriptures and indicated that God had not forgotten his promise to the faithful. Can I say that again? That God had not forgotten his promise to to the faithful. Today is significant to us because in a greater sense, when Jesus comes into any life, I say when Jesus comes to any life, he inspires, he motivates, he pushes us, amen, to bring forth the best that we can come and bring into life. Hope was in the manger. Many people have testified that they would have given up on their dreams and aspiration, but the power of God within them encouraged them not to give up. Amen. The baby in the manger was small, but he unleashed a tremendous flood of hope and confidence and our potential to achieve God's purpose for our life and have a blessed destiny. Yeah, when Jesus comes into our lives, he helps us. I say when Jesus comes into our lives, he helps us. Hope in the manger. He comes as a bundle of hope, just as a little baby came as a bundle of hope in the the manger. This is the hope that we need to build the courage to tackle tough situations and difficult times. That's why Hebrews 13 and 6 reminds us this morning so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. When Jesus comes, there's a spirit of boldness that envelops every believer. And we know that we can do what can be done. We know what can, can be done. We start to believe that all things are are possible and the spirit of defeat leaves our lives the baby in the manger brought hope for our adverse circumstances he brought hope to help us deal with tough times and dire living conditions even a pandemic he brought hope to those who wallow in poverty amen on that day in bethlehem the message from god is the same message that god has today don't give up on hope. I say the same message that God has for us today is that we don't give up on hope, but keep hope alive, even in a day like this, even during amen, COVID-19. Keep hope alive. Don't give up on your husband. Don't give up on your wife. Don't give up on your children. Don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your finances. Don't give up on your health. Don't give up on your family. Don't give up on your friends. Don't give up on the church. Don't give up on your circumstance or your situation or your predicament or your dilemma. Don't give up. Or somebody seems that, amen, that everything seems to be beyond, amen, reach. But I come by to tell you, don't give up because there's a message in the manger. Hope was in the manger. The message in the manger is simply keep hope alive. I come to tell you, Shiloh was in the manger. The message from God and hope was in the manger. Jesus the Christ. Uh, lastly, my brothers and sisters, compassion was in the manger. In other words, compassion, fellow feelings, empathy, understanding, care, and concern was in the manger. The manger sent a visible message to all generations that God's son would be born among his people, would be available to the people, and he would minister to the people. This was the manger implicit message that although it was made of simple material, perhaps wood or stone. The child in the manger represented God's connection with the world. Compassion was in the manger. The poor of the world 
could find him accessible, not hidden away behind locked doors, amen, not in the roy behind royal guards and legions of soldiers, but the powerless, disconnected, and the disenfranchised of the earth will learn that he would be hard, it would be, wouldn't be hard to find him because he was only a prayer away. God was not, amen, inaccessible, but you can, amen, have access to God. Why? Because, amen, compassion was in the manger. Yeah, the magi, the wise men traveled hundreds of miles to find him and the guiding light of heaven to lead them to his door. Shepherds tending their flocks were not considered high or lifted up, but they came on to the stable. In other words, those that, amen, was on one level and those on another level, they were able to find, amen, him in the manger. That lets us know this morning that you are able to find him in the manger. Compassion was in the manger. The message in the manger was that God is among us and God is with us. That God was among us and that God is with us. In our troubles, in our tribulations, in our trials, in our ups and downs, in our turnarounds, in everything that comes our way that God still is with us. God will be there for you. Yeah, the compassionate spirit of the Savior will only be a prayer away. I'm glad this morning that God is only a prayer away. And if we call on him, yeah, he will answer. Compassion was in the manger. If you seek him, you will find him. Compassion was in the manger. The message in the manger is that healing power of God is available. Yeah, the message in the mangers, my brothers and sisters this morning, is that a Savior will hear and answer our prayer. The message in the manger is that our God is willing to forgive us and to save our souls. I, I come to tell you the message in the manger that Shiloh was in the manger, the message from God. Hope was in the manger. Jesus Christ, our hope of glory and compassion that God cares and God is concerned about you, me, and everybody that was in the manger. I'm glad that I know what was in the manger this morning. The message was in the manger. Finally, my brothers and sisters, the manger message is that God is willing to give the world the prize of his heart to save our souls. I need to say that again, that God is willing to give the world the prize of his heart, amen, to save our soul. God will stoop to raise us. Y'all ain't caught that yet. I said God will stoop to raise us. The manger proved that John 3, 16 were not just empty words, but there was words that God did love the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It wasn't empty words, but God showed you, amen, what he said and what he meant and did everything that he said he would do. God stooped down to raise us. The shepherds looked in the manger and they saw more than a baby. They saw the promise of deliverance. Hey Amen. Do you look in the manger this morning and see more than a baby? I do. On this morning, I look in the manger and I see more than a baby. But I see, hey Amen, my deliverance in my way out. When the wise men visited Christ and brought him gifts of gold, frankincense, and mirth at his house, they saw more than a little baby. They saw the fulfillment of the prophecy that God had promised a redeemer and a savior would come to the world. They saw more than a baby in the manger. I want you to see this morning more than a baby in a manger this morning. I want you to see the message in the manger. Amen. That you know that amen. Everything you need is in the manger because of Jesus Christ laying in the manger. And we look at the manger, we should see more than just a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes. We should see God showing us the best way possible that he loves us enough to send his son to save us and to bless us and to reassure us and to sustain us. There's a message in the manger this morning morning that we serve a mighty good God. It is a prophetic message of the cross because the salvation of the world will come one day amen and mean a great sacrifice unto us. We ought to be excited this morning that we see more than that amen in the manger that we have a way right to the tree of life that God thought enough of us to come amen down through 42 generations down through a manger with a baby swaddling wrapped in clothes but God thought enough of us <coughs> And I'm so glad 
that we serve a God that thanks a lot of us and love us so much. If the manger show God stooping down to reach a fallen humanity, even the lowest, then the cross, which was in the manger, prophetically goes one step further because of the manger. Amen. It shows God's willingness to forgive and reconcile the loss to himself by sacrificing his own son on the cross of Calvary. Yeah, don't leave him in the manger this morning, but see the message in the manger. The manger is a symbol of the peace of God dwelling among us, but the cross is the epitome of God's saving grace and willingness to forget and pass discretion of that we have did in our life to bring the creation and the creator back together again. I say God, amen, wanted to bring the creator and the creation back together again by the message in the manger. The manger helps us see that God, amen, does stoop down. I say God does stoop down and pick up life. But the cross shows us that God does do it after he picks us up. I say God does it after that he picks us up. Amen. I'm so glad that he stooped down in humanity and put a child in the manger for us. The message in the manger this morning. The manger raises our hopes up. And it despises us, but it was that happened on the cross that saves us. I said the manger raises our hopes, and it inspires us. But what happened on the cross, amen, it saved us. At the manger, we promise, you see the promise of God. But at the cross, we see the promise fulfilled. I say in the manger, we see the promise of God. But on the cross, we see the promise fulfilled. The cross shows us how Christ God can take our worst and turn it into our best. The cross shows us God can take our failures and turn it into success. I said the cross shows us God can take our low spirits and raise them up again. The cross shows that God can take our broken hearts and make them happy again. I'm so glad the song say at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith uh, that I receive my sight uh, and at the cross I'm happy all of the day. Uh, anybody happy because uh, of the cross uh, but he had to go through the manger to get to the cross uh, and the message from the manger is that he got to go from one place to another and I come to tell you you got a message on this morning you might have to go through the manger but God going to give you what you need uh, and take you to another level because the Bible says let us know that God stooped down into humanity and brought his only begotten son uh, into the world. Uh, don't miss the message on this morning in the manger. Don't get caught up in the Christmas tree. Uh, don't get caught up in giving gifts. Uh, don't get caught up in Christmas parties. Uh, don't get caught up in all the lights. Uh, don't get caught up in all the parades. Uh, don't get caught up in all of, amen, the commercials uh, and all of the movies. Uh, but I want you, don't miss the message this morning uh, that God uh, sent his only begotten son, uh, the best gift it ever came uh, to this world, but the, both the manger and the cross uh, are special to us uh, because they both speak to, to our soul salvation. Uh, I say it speaks to our soul salvation. The manger um, is important uh, because to us, uh, because how it was constructed, but because uh, of how he laid in it. Y'all ain't caught it yet. It's not how it was constructed, but because how he laid in it. Uh, the cross is special to us, uh, not because of who made it, uh, but because who carried it. Uh, I say it's not because who made the cross, uh, but because how, hey man, Jesus carried it. Uh, the cross is holy to us, uh, not because uh, it was used to crucify, but because of who was crucified on it. Uh, Jesus, uh, Mary's baby, uh, the cross is special to us, uh, not because uh, of what it was intended for, uh, but because uh, of what it it turned out to be. Uh, I said because of what it turned out to be. Uh, a sign for redemption. Uh, a sign for everlasting life. Uh, a sign for salvation. Uh, a sign for deliverance. Uh, a sign for hope. Uh, a sign for a way out. Uh, the manger is important. Uh, but because uh, in it he was. Uh, I said the manger is important. Uh, because in it uh, was he who was uh, precious. Uh, who came to save those uh, who was worthless. Uh, the manger is important. Uh, 
because in it it was he who was lowly who became amen to bring us hope to the proud amen the manger is important to us because in it was he who was loving that came to save those that were hateful in the manger was important to us because in it was he who was holy that came to die for us on an old rugged cross the message in the manger is that God's son will offer victory at the cross no wonder the songwriter said I said earlier no wonder the songwriter said that at the cross at the cross where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away it was there by faith I received my sight anybody happy here all the day it began in the manger but it ended on an old rugged cross I say it began in a manger but it ended on an old rugged cross it began in Bethlehem but ended up on Calvary it began in obscurity but it ended up to tell the whole world that knows the story that they hung him high they stretched him wide he hung his head and then he died but that is not how the story in three days later he rose again tell the story how he was born in a manger but he died on an old rugged cross tell the story how he arose three days later go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ was born in a manger but was crucified on a cross and one thing about it he's yet alive I say he's yet alive he's yet alive how do you know he's yet alive because every now and then I can feel him in my hand I can feel him in my feet every now and then good God Almighty I can feel him all over me yeah the message in the manger silent night oh holy night shepherds quake at thy sight glorious streams from heaven afar heavenly hosts saying hallelujah Christ the Savior is born I say Christ the Savior is born tell it the message in the manger heart the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners God and sinners God and sinners God and sinners reconcile the message in the manger joy to the world the Lord has come the message in the manger the Lord has come joy 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 to the world let it receive a king King of kings and Lord of lords. I got joy because of the message in the manger. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy, joy come in the morning. The message in the manger. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, let us. Come, let us adore him, the message in the manger. Come, let us bow down before him for heaven, for he alone is worthy. I say he alone is worthy. He get the praise, he get the glory, he get the honor. Yeah, 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 ain't he all right, ain't he all right, the message, <laughs> the message in the manger, the message in the manger, I know y'all sang the song, I say I know y'all sang the song, the 12 days of Christmas, but the message is in the manger, the 12 days of Christmas, the popular song that children sing, but they don't know what they're singing about her because the 12 days of Christmas uh, was derived from the Bible. Uh, every good and perfect gift uh, is from above uh, and coming down from the Father uh, of lights. Uh, 
with whom no variance, uh, neither shadow or term uh, of his own will, uh, he begot his us, uh, the world through truth, uh, that we should be known, uh, the fruits of his creatures. Uh, and I come to tell you uh, that God means uh, more than uh, a Christmas carol. Uh, so you got to know the message uh, in the manger this morning. Uh, you got to know what it means. Uh, the 12 days of Christmas, uh, somebody said uh, on the first day of Christmas, uh, my true love God uh, gave to me uh, one partridge in a pear tree. Uh, that is the symbol uh, of Jesus Christ uh, on the cross uh, that died on a tree. Uh, and he was fighting uh, for you and I uh, on the first day of Christmas. Uh, my true God uh, said to me, uh, true daughter does. Uh, two turtle doves. Uh, that was uh, the Old Testament uh, and the New Testament. Uh, God revealing uh, himself to us. Uh, he was the Alpha uh, and the Omega. Uh, he was the first uh, and the last. Uh, he was the King of Kings uh, and the Lord of Lords. Uh, the Rose of Sharon, uh, the Bright and Morning Star, uh, the Wonderful Counselor, uh, the Prince of Peace. Uh, the everlasting father, my master, my closest friend, my teacher, my comforter, my shield in my buckler, my anchor in the midst of a storm. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French horns. That was faith, that was hope, and that was love. The three the three uh, valuable gifts uh, it represent uh, the three wise men uh, and i know uh, that wise men uh, still seek him uh, on the first uh, day of christmas uh, my true love uh, god gave to me uh, god gave to me uh, four calling birds uh, that's the four gospels uh, back to uh, mark uh, luke uh, in John, uh, the good news uh, of the gospel, uh, the message uh, in the manger uh, on the first day of Christmas, uh, my true love uh, gave to me uh, five uh, golden rings. Uh, that's the five books uh, of Moses, uh, Genesis, uh, Exodus, uh, Leviticus, uh, Numbers, uh, and Deuteronomy. Uh, God uh, used the ring. Uh, to engage uh, his valuable treasures uh, on the first day uh, of Christmas uh, God gave to me uh, yeah uh, six uh, geese of land uh, six uh, represent uh, God uh, creating uh, the heavens uh, and the earth uh, it took him six days uh, yeah uh, let there be uh, and there was a uh, new life uh, and not only that uh, when God uh, created uh, he sustained it uh, in other words uh, he told the sun uh, to go over there uh, and stay there uh, he told the moon uh, to go over there uh, and stay there uh, he told the stars uh, to go up yonder uh, and stay there uh, he told the sea uh, to stay there uh, he told the wind uh, to blow over here uh, and blow over there uh, and blow to the north uh, and to the south uh, on the first day of Christmas uh, my love uh, my true love uh, gave to me uh, seven uh, swans are swinging swimming uh, seven uh, gifts uh, of the Holy Spirit uh, I'm so glad uh, on the first day of Christmas uh, my true love uh, gave to me uh, eight uh, maize of milking uh, eight uh, beatitudes uh, blessed uh, are the poor uh, poor in spirit uh, blessed uh, are they that mourn uh, blessed uh, are the meek uh, blessed uh, are those that hunger and thirst uh, blessed uh, are the merciful uh, blessed uh, are the pure in heart uh, blessed uh, are the peacemakers uh, blessed uh, are those that are persecuted uh, for righteousness sake uh, y'all don't call it yet uh, the message uh, in the manger uh, on the first day of Christmas uh, my true love uh, gave to me uh, nine ladies uh, that are dancing uh, nine uh, fruits of the spirit uh, love uh, joy uh, peace uh, long-suffering uh, gentleness uh, goodness uh, 
faith, uh, meekness, uh, and temperance. Uh, yeah. On the, amen. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, uh, my true love uh, gave to me uh, ten laws of leaping, uh, the ten commandments. Uh, God gave it to us. Uh, on the first day of Christmas, uh, my true love gave to me uh, 11 uh, pipers piping. Uh, it was 11, uh, it was 11 uh, faithful disciples uh, because Judas uh, was the one that betrayed him. Uh, yeah, I got the clothes uh, on this morning, uh, but on the first day, uh, on the first day of Christmas, uh, my true love gave to me uh, 12 uh, Drama's drumming, huh? the 12 vital points uh, of the Apostle Creed. That what we believe, that's what we believe, huh? it's our belief. Huh? There are 12 points uh, of our belief. Huh? Can I just give you one? Huh? Can I give you two? Huh? And maybe just three? Huh? But we believe huh, that God's word huh, is the infallible word of God. Huh? We believe huh, that God the Father, huh, God the Son, huh, and God the Holy Ghost huh, are three or one. Huh? And lastly, huh, we believe huh, that Jesus huh, was born of a virgin Mary huh, that came from God. Huh, that Jesus, huh, he walked on the earth. Huh, that Jesus, huh, he bled and died. Huh, and died on the cross uh, and we believe uh, that Jesus uh, died uh, in a borrowed grave uh, and he stayed there uh, all night Friday uh, yeah. all day Saturday uh, and all day Saturday night uh, but early, uh, early uh, we believe uh, that he got up uh, early uh, on Sunday morning uh, on Sunday morning uh, with all all power, all power in his hand, all power, saving power, healing power, delivering power. We believe, we believe that one day, one day he coming back again and the dead in Christ gonna rise up first, but those remain shall be caught up, shall be caught up in the middle of the air. We believe that God has prepared a place for you and I. And one of these days, we gonna meet him. One of these days, we gonna see him. And when I, when I, see Jesus when I see Jesus I'm gonna tell my story how I made it over I'm gonna tell him thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord yeah 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 the message the message the message in the manger, he didn't stay there. The message in the manger, he walks with me, he talks with me, and he tell me that I am his own. The message in the manger, he woke me up this morning, he started me on my way. The message in the manger that he brought me, did he bring you? Uh, that he brought me? Uh, did he bring you? Uh, I need to ask you again. Uh, that he brought me? Uh, did he bring you? Uh, from a mighty uh, long way. Uh, the message uh, in the manger uh, that he keeps on uh, blessing me. Uh, the message uh, in the manger uh, that he keeps on uh, making a way uh, out of no way. Uh, the message uh, in the manger that he's all right that he's all right that he's all right he's all right all right all right yeah 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 yes sir hallelujah Woo. I feel all right this morning I feel like preaching a little bit this morning. 
but we got to leave y'all this morning. <laughs> we got to leave y'all alone. <laughs> but Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I didn't say Happy Holidays. <laughs> I didn't say Xmas. <laughs> I didn't say have a blessed season. <laughs> but I said Merry <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Don't take Christ <laughs> out of your Christmas. <laughs> because the message <laughs> in the manger <laughs> came a mighty long way <laughs> to get here on planet Earth. <laughs> and I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that I feel him in my heart. I feel him in my soul. I feel him in my mind. I feel him in my spirit. Do you feel? Do you feel his power? Do you feel his anointing? Do you feel his power? Do you hear his glory? Oh! Oh, oh, I need for Christmas is Jesus. Oh, I need for Christmas is the Lord. The message. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Oh yeah, hallelujah. Glory to God. The message, the message in the manger, the message in the manger Jesus 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 yes sir oh yeah I got the message but you got the message I got the message yeah! <laughs> oh, yes, I got the message. So you got the message. I got him in my heart. I got him in my spirit. I got him in my mind. He keeps on blessing me. I said he keeps on blessing me. Yes, sir. Well, you might as well put a praise on it. You might as well put a praise on it. Yeah! Glory! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Hey. Mama, mama. Amen. The message in the manger. God sent us a message through the manger. And we have to look in there and find the message for ourselves, our Savior and our Redeemer. As the song said, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him oh come let us adore him Christ 
Oh Lord, he alone, he alone, he alone. He alone is worth. If you're not saved today, you don't know the Lord in the pardon of your sin. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my mind. Save me. Forgive me for all my sins and my transgression. I want to live for you. I want to walk in you. I want to be your child. Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Savior. I receive you as my Redeemer. Save me, Lord. Save a sinner like me. And I believe and I receive that you're the Savior of the world. In Jesus' name, amen. I, the Lord, for he alone, for he alone. Oh, yes. He alone is worthy. He's worthy. Christ the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Him cry. We pray God's blessing on you, that you will have a blessed and safe Merry Christmas, that God will be with you and your family during this time. If you don't get anything under the Christmas tree, if nobody give you a gift, you have the best gift in the world, Jesus Christ. You have the best gift in the world, your life. You have the best gift in the world that you're yet believe, be, be, breathing, that you're yet breathing, and that is the best gift that you can have. I know sometimes people get depressed and get oppressed during this season, but look to God. Don't let the enemy get in your mind. Don't let him get in your spirit. We rebuke that spirit that will come against you to have you depressed. But you ought to rejoice in the Lord because God loves you. If nobody else loves you, God loves you. God cares for you. And you have no reason to be down and out, but be uplifted, be healed, be set free, be delivered on this day. God loves you, and we love you, and we wish you God's bless and God's best, and that God would bless you real good in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you for this service. We thank you for these, your people that are listening, that are tuning in, that are hearing this broadcast, that are hearing this telecast. God, we pray that you would just bless their lives, bless their family, bless those that are traveling over the dangerous highways and byways, the airways. And oh, God, bless those that are suffering even now, Lord. Whatever it may be, God, just touch them right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, just touch them in the name of Jesus. Right now, God, look on the sick, God. Look on those on the prayer list, God. Look on those on the special prayer. Look on those that stand in the need of a miracle right now, God. Just touch them, Lord. Look, look on those that are in the hospital room, that are suffering, whatever the need may be, God. In the nursing home, the prison wall, God. Just touch them right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy on them right now, God. Heal, God. Set free. Deliver today, God. In the name of Jesus. Let them know that you are the message in the manger. You are the hope. You are the shallow. You are the compassion that we ever needed in life. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you. And we bless you today. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with you henceforth, now and forever. And all God's people say amen and amen. For my family. For myself and Lady Vincent and the Mount Calvary Church family, we wish you, we wish you a merry and merry Christmas. Amen. And don't forget, you don't have any problems, but all you need is faith in God. As we leave you on today, never leave in the presence of God. As we sing to God the glory and God get the praise. Amen. Be blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Amen. Oh, come let us adore him, Christ.